in this session we are going to learn refraction of light through glass slab through glass slab at the same time we will learn what is meant by vertical shift and what is meant by lateral shift what is meant by vertical shift and what is meant by lateral shift and how to measure the vertical shift and how to measure the lateral shift and how to find the thickness how to find the thickness of the glass slab at the same time how to find the refractive index of this glass slab refractive index of this glass slab okay see for that one what are the materials needed a glass slab rectangular glass slab and next one a drawing board and a white paper okay a white paper next one scale pencil and protractor are clear these are the materials needed okay to do this activity so next one another one four pins are also needed four drawing pins are also needed are clear so before starting the experiment what you have to do you take a white paper you take a white paper fix it on the drawing board okay first i have taken a drawing board and i fixed the white paper on it a4 size paper on it next see i have taken the glass slab this is the glass slab okay so now with the help of the scale i am measuring the thickness of the glass slab observe this one i am measuring the thickness of the glass slab it is exactly 1 cm the thickness of the glass slab is how much 1 cm so make a note of that the thickness of the glass slab here i am writing see thickness of the glass slab are you write it in your notebook thickness of the glass slab is 1 cm thickness of the glass slab is 1 cm next see this one listen to me now i am keeping the glass slab on the drawing paper see this one i kept the glass slab and the drawing paper and i am tracing the boundary i am tracing the boundary of the glass slab see this this is the boundary of the glass slab this is the boundary of the glass slab i named it as a b c d okay i traced the boundary of the glass slab and named it as a b c d next one at b c observe this one at b c what i am doing i am drawing the perpendicular i am drawing the perpendicular to ab okay i have drawn the perpendicular i have drawn the perpendicular to ab okay now i marked a point i marked a point p i marked a point p okay on the perpendicular drawn to ab are you clear next next step what i am doing again i am placing the glass slab in its original position now i kept the glass slab in its original position see this i kept the glass slab in its original position
see this i kept the pin i kept the pin parallel to ab at p parallel to ab observe this one i kept the pin okay at p on the perpendicular which is parallel to ab next see i have taken another pin i have taken another pin see this i have taken another pin observing the second pin second pin from the right eye and the first pin which is kept at p from the left eye see try to understand i am observing the two pins from two eyes one pin is observed okay from the glass slab and the other pin is observed from air okay in such a manner that these two pins appear straight to me oh, one minute these two pins appear straight to me one minute they are uh, moving one minute you pass it Good. fix a pin at the point p okay observing the pin from the glass slab next fix another pin another pin observing with another eye okay such that such that i am observing the second pin from air and the first pin from glass slab okay they two appear in straight line they two appear in straight line at the straight when seen in glass see this one okay they are appearing straight observe this one these two pins are in straight line are you clear see first i fixed the pin at p another pin i fixed observing the second pin from air first pin is observed from glass slab second pin is observed from air are you clear do you understand the concept okay such that these two pins are in straight line okay next this is the experimental part now what i am doing what i am doing i am removing the glass slab next see this i mark this point as q i mark this point as q and i have drawn a line parallel to ab i am drawing a line which is parallel to ab next i remove the pin p also and again i am drawing the line from p which is parallel to ab see this the perpendicular distance between these two parallel lines i am measuring the perpendicular distance measure the perpendicular distance between the two lines that are drawn from the points p and q parallel to the side ab observe this the perpendicular distance is exactly 0.3 cm see this one 0.3 cm now this perpendicular distance is known as vertical shift so the vertical shift is equal to 0.3 cm now refractive index of this glass slab is calculated using the formula refractive index is equal to thickness of the glass slab divided by thickness of the glass slab minus vertical shift so already we found the thickness of the glass slab observe this one this is exactly 1 cm the thickness of the glass slab is 1 cm so 1 cm divided by 1 minus vertical shift is 0.3 so this is equal to 1 by 0.7 which is nothing but 1.429 so the refractive index of this glass slab is equal to 1.429 thank you children so with this experiment we learnt how to find the refractive index of the rectangular glass slab and how to calculate the vertical shift thank you if you like my video please subscribe and share among your groups thank you